Crafters. Welcome into Guys Craft 2. My name is John, and <clears throat> I have one more night to sleep in Arizona before we jump on that big plane and head east to South Carolina to Myrtle Beach. I am so excited. I get to spend an entire week with my two grandchildren, six and five, and... Oh, it's going to be a crazy week, but I'm Papa John, and we make it work, and I am so excited. I have I have two amazing grandchildren, and um, but they are full of energy, but they are also full of love. So anyways, this week at work has been bizarre. It has been off the charts, uh, just like every other week for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I stacked up a lot of stuff in the mail because... Um, I was at the park home, you know, the cabin last weekend up at Shady Pines. And um, so just trying to catch up. So realized I have a ton of stuff that came in the mail. And I thought, you know what? In the past, I've usually done a video dedicated like to each purchase, each group. And just blew that out of the water this time. And decided I'm doing one big video. Uh, bear with me. I put... Uh, some of it down in the description so you understood a little bit better what's on here tonight or this morning. Um, but it is what it is, folks. You know, I love that saying. So the first thing I opened was my um, kit from Fat Quarter Shop. So Fat Quarter Shop knows how sometimes to get me in. And because of it, uh, I am a Halloween freak. And it's not so much I like the spooky, scary Halloween. I love the fun Halloween. And I think part of it is I love the purple, the orange, the black, that green. I love the colors of Halloween. Uh, so that just makes it worse. They actually put uh, out on their site a quilt kit called Patch Jacks. Uh, it ends up being about a 50 by 50 finished quilt. They didn't have it. Um, in stock. It was more or less a pre-order or whatever. And it was one of those that send me an email uh, when you get it back in stock. And so I had already determined I wasn't spending any more money. Uh, in fact, I may have told some people that I wasn't going to spend any more money till at least closer to Christmas. Uh, but whatever. I got the email. Patch Jacks came in stock. And I just could not resist this. Look, if you're a Halloween freak... This is just absolutely adorable. So it comes as a complete kit. Yes, I've spent entirely too much money on it. I am not even going to lie about that. But I am just so, just so super psyched uh, to have this and to um, just... So it's from Riley Blake, and it is just so adorable. And if I can figure out how to open the box. I am going to open it and actually show you some things that are inside. So it comes in a really nice Riley Blake box. I will tell you for what I probably paid for this, it should. And then it comes all cellophane um, with the uh, materials in that. So with that said, let's look at what's in here. So you get, obviously... The Patch Jacks quilt, you get the pattern. So that will tell me everything that I need. Uh, I'm going to get some templates, which is going to just be crazy because that's what ends up taking me forever in getting things done. There apparently was a Riley Blake uh, charm pack called Pumpkin Patch. And you get two of those in here. And it's got some really cute fabric. I will admit, I did not see those on um, the Fat Quarter Shop website. And then it comes with some of the complimentary factory uh, fabrics. This is a gold, which you can't really see on the screen. This is a, a nice orange, and then it's just black and white. So everything to do uh, to do this quilt is in there. Um, for me, as you all know, if you follow the channel, uh, for me, it's just uh, figuring out the time, the sequence, and hopefully getting to this. Um, really would like to do it in 2024, so we'll see. Uh, but uh, I haven't done much with the uh, 
that requires tracing and cutting. So that's one thing I got from Fat Quarter Shop. Then they had the Sundance mini charm packs on sale. I think I paid like two bucks for this. I don't even know if I paid two bucks for this. So of course I had to add a few things on to get free shipping. So maybe I didn't pay as much as I thought. Or maybe these were just on sale and I grabbed them anyways. And this one was on sale too called Peppermint Bark. I know I already have a couple of these, but I grabbed more because this one happened to be on sale again. It was one of their flash sales, so I thought, why not have another one? Because you know me. All right, so all of that was Fat Quarter Shop. That was just one box waiting for me when I came home the other day from um, Shady Pines. Next is the door banner kit from Riley Blake. And this is the summer door banner kit. So this would be the July or August one. And I love, look at the watermelons, the daisy, the vine running through it. I will have to say, I really, really like this door banner kit. Uh, interesting enough, I get this from Shabby Fabrics. Uh, so they are always sending, uh, they actually have videos to walk us through putting these together. Yes, I have not put the first one together, but the plan is to do so. That's the whole purpose of buying the cutter pillar uh, light board was to help me get some of these put together. Uh, for some reason, in fact, Quarter Shop didn't get theirs. Uh, I will be getting a second one later. At some point, I'm either going to do these twice, have one for at both homes, or have one for me and give one away. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I did not realize I had signed up for two subscriptions with two different companies, but it is what it is. It's a commitment I made. They don't let you cancel. Uh, you have to stay in it for a year. And you know what? We just, we make it work. So I do like this kit though. I think that is an adorable kit. And I am anxious to see how that comes together and what that will look like. Next thing, I had postponed um, getting boxes from the Ginger Quilter. Ginger, what she puts in her box, just doesn't necessarily resonate with me. I did her 12 Days of Christmas or whatever she called it back in December. I got some nice stuff out of it. Do I think she puts a quality box together? Absolutely. Uh, but when you hear me talk about other shops and that how they just resonate and like I love everything that's in there, that doesn't seem to be the case with the Ginger Quilter. I ended up postponing getting boxes from her for a few months. Uh, that ran out and I didn't realize it, so I ended up getting this box uh, for the month of June, which is fine um, because I had originally signed up. Like I said, she does nice boxes. They're just not things that sometimes resonate with me, and because of that is why I canceled it. Um, plus, I was trying to just figure out how to cut back. So I did um, obviously get this box. I have canceled my subscription since then. But uh, don't read into that where there's other boxes I would tell you I've canceled based on selection, based on quality, based on instructions, blah, blah, blah. That's not the case with uh, the Ginger Quilter. It just, um, her boxes don't always resonate with me. And um, it's just me. So what's in this box this month? We get a Liberty Pattern by Villa Rosa. So believe it or not, I do not think I have this pattern. It's called Running Dough Quilts for Villa Rosa Designs. You know I love me some Villa Rosa, and that's a pretty cute quilt design. I will say it's much more early, um, early American uh, Americana than uh, is my taste. I like this, and I think it would be cute in some of my friends' homes and that. It's not one, if I, when I get this done or when I do it, it's not one that I would keep for myself. She did provide all of the um, six white fat quarters uh, to be used in it. And so, my God, she, I mean, honestly, she stacked this box with um, fabrics. So uh, it's got six white fat quarters, eight red fat quarters, and nine blue fat eighths. So when you look, she did put some, and like I said, she does cute boxes. Look how adorable that is with the apple. This is just a nice red, white, and blue stars. Uh, this one is just a plain white, but it's got a um, design running down through it. 
This is the uh, pinwheels for the 4th of July. This to me is more like a shell pattern, that's what I call it. Um, this would be more like a herringbone, I guess, pattern. This one is really cute with the spools of thread. And then this one is all about uh, materials, right, sewing. Uh, that's what she considers the whites, uh, the stack of whites. The blues are different. Again, very Americana. Uh, this one is got, uh, actually seaworthy with whales and that. Blue stars. No, no stars. Blue polka dots, I guess. Um, this one's different. So again, it's that very early American um, type look for me that's just that Americana. Nothing wrong with it, just tends not to be my taste and style. But I will be honest, one of the reasons I do like getting subscription boxes and that is to help um, get me out of my comfort zone a little bit and um, let me um, expand some other things. So here's the sewing, but it is reversed, so it's the red uh, with the white outline. Uh, this looks like little elephants. For the red fabric, uh, this one's got birds. This one is the American flag. This one is more of a patchwork. And this one's got butterflies and flowers and that. So, cute fabrics. Uh, like I said, can't complain about the fabrics. Can't complain about the quantity that she put in here. There's a lot of fabrics in this box. So, um, happy with that. Uh, always happy to get a Villa Rosa design. I mean, like, how awesome is that? She also put in a beaded garland, which is cute. So not sure how I will use that, but that beaded garland is really cute. She also gave us a mini screwdriver set. So look how cute those little screwdrivers are. And I will tell you, I'm missing screwdrivers out of my set because I needed them in here so that may actually be a really nice gift and she always gives us kids a snack and she gave us Jelly Belly uh, All-American um, jelly beans. I absolutely love jelly beans. It was really weird this year. We did not buy jelly beans for um, Easter. I have no idea why we usually, I usually have a house full of jelly beans because uh, like Ronald Reagan back in the day, I've always loved jelly beans. I, I won't say that I have to have jelly belly. Um, just kidding up. I just like the jelly beans, but um, I do appreciate them. And again, her boxes overall are a good value for what she puts in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, this box actually does resonate with me. I will end up doing that because it's a Villa Rosa design. I do like the fabrics that she picked in here. It is more Americana than what I would normally do, but that's kind of the point sometimes of picking out um, these boxes, these subscription boxes, is to um, help stretch me a little bit. Um, so don't take my um, cancellation of her um, subscription box to mean anything more than what it is. All right, and the last one that I received, right? So look at the stack that came in while I was just up at Shady Pines. The Sewers Club sent me their subscription box, and I will have to think about how much longer I keep them as a subscription box, but I do tend to like uh, what they do because they're this subscription box is dedicated around um, totes and that. This one is called the Adventurer Multi Pocket side bag and so this is totally different it is absolutely not colors and coordinated the way i would have put this together um, and actually if you look at that picture compared to this picture i like the look of this bag much better than this bag but so you know as you all know as well as i do it is about the uh fabric selection that you put together. Uh, they did give me the um, snaps or whatever that I need to put that bag together. Let's see, I think sometimes they even say what's in here. They do say this is for an experienced beginner. Um, so they did give us those. 
Uh, they gave us leather needles for doing this pattern. They did give us the two fabrics to get things done. They did give us the batting, um, the zipper, and they always give us Gutterman uh, thread. I will say I don't use, typically have not used this thread yet. Um, we'll see. I always keep it handy just in case. Uh, I do tend to be a Aurafil or Glide snob. Uh, if you follow up my channel from earlier, we used to use some Wonderfill threads in that, but I just found it doesn't doesn't hold up and doesn't do what I want. So I've ended up going back to Aurafil or Glide. Uh, I do like a polyester thread, which I know just sets the quilt world on its head. So with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. We are well on our way to almost 900 subscribers, which just rocks my world. Uh, we're still hoping to hit 1,000 before year end. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But today was just meant to be an update, grab, um, grab everything that's come in the mail, talk about it for a little bit, and just for us to catch up. As always, appreciate each and every one of you. Love the comments uh, when you make those. Love to be able to respond back in that. If you're around, jump on uh, the lives. We typically do those 4 p.m. Arizona time on Sunday afternoons for us. Uh, that seems to really be working for us. Uh, our lives tend to be about an hour, hour plus. But um, we appreciate each and every one of you and um, the fact that we get to chat live with you sometimes as well. So with all that said, thanks for dropping in. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, neighbors, and anyone that'll listen about our channel. And as always, until next time, happy crafting.